Hello and welcome to the Dorian Howell podcast. This is episode three. It's October 2017, and my topic is I got hurt. And that's not really the topic, but it is what I'm going to do. And it's about talking about how to train when you're injured. And for me, I twisted my knee slightly. I didn't even know that I twisted my knee until when I went to bed, feeling pain when I was asleep. Basically, how you train when injured, number one is talk to a doctor, make sure you're okay. You don't want to train when you're really injured. You can really ruin your body that way. Number two is once you find out that you can partially train, then you want to listen to your body and take it even slower than before. And for me, the example is I have a YouTube video, which I'm disputing playing it or posting it because it really is bad is basically I can't even really train my leg at all with a 10 pound weight and it's going to heal quickly but it's still painful and this video is more about the pain relief than me whining and number one ice packs ice packs are your friend and also listen to your body especially if it's a knee injury you're going to have to do no weight at all, no squats, probably do like the leg extension I'm doing is just do it with your body weight or even use your hands to help get rid of some of the weight of your leg and just do that and you're just focusing on range of motion to keep your leg healthy. If you don't do range of motion exercise with a bad leg, it's going to stay bad longer. That's what I've discovered is because I have to climb the stairs, which is very interesting with a bad knee. It has helped heal my knee a little bit quicker. Ice packs have got helps with the pain and also circulation of the body. And again, my workout for my bad knee would be seated leg calf raises for my healthy leg, and then single leg extensions with my healthy leg, and then standing or probably seated leg curls because the leg extensions works the quads which are the front part of your thighs leg curls help work the back of your legs the hamstrings and the seated calf raises works the lower part of your leg and that's what you need to keep your body good and then when my knee feels a little bit better i'd probably be doing the exact same thing just with both legs because the seated calf raise you're not really using your knee that much. I experimented with it, didn't hurt as badly. And then I would do both legs, leg extensions, extremely lightweight and just go for high reps, high, really high reps, just focusing on pushing blood through my knee and helping the circulation through my knee that would help heal it. And then I would do the leg curls as well. And that would just be more of a stretch for the legs as well and please subscribe to my podcast on soundcloud thank you very much comment below what you think and also comment below if you've been injured and i i didn't list your top top way of healing your body please comment below and let me know before i'm fully healed about a better way of healing or training And this week's podcast was basically on how to train around injury, which is number one, listen to your body. Number two, do it. You're going to be in a little bit of pain, but do it. And number three, just keep on keeping on. And again, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace out.